Space laser communications are becoming a reality. The space-based laser communication market is projected to reach $4.1 billion by 2031, according to a new market intelligence study published by ASD Reports. The study also highlights that the market is set to witness a compound annual growth rate of 26.98% during the period. Space laser communications, also known as Free Space Optical Communications, or FSO, uses an optical communication technology by light propagation in free space to wirelessly transmit data for telecommunication or computer networking. The advantages of space-based laser communication serve several business opportunities, such as large-scale communication through satellites and quantum key distribution or QKD channels. Since space-based laser communication technology is proven to be a technically viable solution, it has paved the way for various applications. Among those is the Airbus Space Data Highway, which recently reached a milestone of 50,000 successful laser connections. During the first five years of routine operations, these successful connections have downloaded more than three petabytes of data and have a service availability rate of greater than 99.7% in 2021. The Space Data Highway is a public-private partnership between the European Space Agency and Airbus, which owns and operates the system. It takes full advantage of the laser communication terminals developed by TSAT Spacecom in cooperation with the DLR German Space Administration. Space Data Highway enables the transfer of data, including imagery, voice, and video, from low Earth orbit satellites and airborne platforms to receiving ground stations across Europe using laser communications via EDRSA and EDRSC geostationary satellites. The system's satellites are designed to lock onto low orbiting satellites and collect their data as they travel in low Earth orbit scanning the Earth. From its position in geostationary orbit, the Space Data Highway acts as a relay transmitting the large quantities of data acquired by these observation satellites down to Earth and near real time, instead of storing the data on board until the satellites pass over their own ground station. The system can download 230 gigabytes of data in a typical link session, which lasts about 18 minutes on average, meaning the Space Data Highway is capable of relaying up to 40 terabytes of data acquired by observation satellites aircraft, unmanned aerial vehicles, and other mobile assets to Earth. That's like streaming more than 400,000 MP3 songs per day. The establishment of the laser connections is controlled by the Space Data Highway's Mission Operations Center, which operates 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, at an Airbus facility near Munich. Operators receive transmission requests from customers, program the space and ground segments, and monitor the performance of the communications. Airbus is also developing user terminals to enable new applications. Recently, with the Netherlands Organization for Applied Scientific Research, TNO, Airbus launched the Ultra Air program to develop a laser communication terminal demonstrator for airborne platforms. For Xterra, the Journal of Space Commerce, I'm Tom Patton.